Hello to you. My name is Maria Konjelska and you are watching Poland Daily Culture. If you are fans of poetry, those episodes are absolutely for you because we're talking about Polish poetry in English translation. And with me today in the studio is Julia Wilde, a poet herself and a translator. So you understand how hard it is. And we're talking today about Herbert. And what I found with Herbert is the fact that he, first of all, he, he uses a very difficult language. Words which are not common, not every day. And the other things, he doesn't use any punctuation. So you don't even, for the first one, you read it, you just read it the whole poem, and you don't know where to stop. That's true. There is no rhythm in a way, right? While in Tuvim there is, well, rhythm is almost everything. Uh, here there is actually no um, no rhythm in the sense that there, there is no structure, there is no visible structure. Yes, and you have to put to and find a structure yourself. Yes. Which of course requires already an interpretation and the various different of interpretation. And we were talking in the previous episodes how very anti-communistic he was. In a way, that he also was uh, never cooperating with the system um, and uh, sustaining the inferiority of his financial state uh, with uh, bravely, I would say. And it's put also uh, all the, the the call to be against the communist in his poem, The Power of Taste. And I would like to read a few more verses of this exquisite poem, because we can also see the true characteristic of, of Herbert's writing in it. Who knows if we had been better and more attractively tempted, sent rose-skinned women thin as a wafer, or fantastic creatures from the paintings of Hieronymus Bosch. But what kind of hell was there at this time? A wet pit, the murderer's alley, the barrack, called a palace of justice. A home brewed Mephisto in a Lenin jacket. Sent Aurora's children out into the field. Boys with potato face, very ugly girls with red hands. And that's described uh, aesthetic view how he's seen the communists. So like a, a Mephisto, which is he's wearing a Lenin jacket. And I would say the person who explained a little bit more of Herbert's ideas was later Kintrowski. Because Kintrowski was, yes. was singing Herbert, was he not? Right, and I think that Herbert even joked that he was um, Kintrowski's lyricist, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, though, it was Kintrowski who wanted to take uh, Herbert's poetry, but then at first he wasn't very happy he, about yes. it. Yes, he wasn't very enthusiastic, but then he he he, he uh, grew to appreciate it, and he called himself uh, Kintrowski's lyricist. So yes, but anyway, yeah. <clears throat> and uh, but. What when you read uh, when you have to say about Herbert that he is hard to understand also because he comes back uh, to huge part of culture. So to understand him, he refers to philosophy. He refers to to uh, paintings. He refers to history. He refers to uh, cre people and even language. It's hard, that's why you have to have, be really well educated, especially in philosophy, to understand him, don't you think? That's, that's true. You could say that he is a philosopher poet, actually, right? Because not only does he refer to um, philosophy and uh, the, the culture, let, let's say, uh, of, well, European mostly, um, but he also has some very uh, distinct views and thoughts, and he's really like a teacher. We could say he's almost like a so Socrates in the, in the sense. Right? Yes, because he's, he created his alter ego was with Mr. Cogito, yes, exactly. and put in Mr. Cogito's mouth a lot of his own statements. Yes, but it was also kind of Basel, what kind of uh, um, sp philosophical statement he is sharing, and. Uh, 
and what 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 is his uh, actually his opinions and what he thinks when it comes to uh, human nature, the situation in society, the, the the condition of being in a way as well. But why is he also so beautiful? Because uh, when you know better or you have favorite. A painting on a favorite character from the from the past. Uh, he, sometimes Herbert recreated them in a new way. Yes, that's true. And I remember when I was in maybe in high school when I um, read a retelling of the story of uh, Minotaur, and it was so um, eye-opening, let's say. And and I really loved the way he tries to get to the roots of a story of a myth and and explain its origin. That's that's very interesting, but in a poetic way, not Yes, because he, oh, he was his, oh, see, he was a fa his favorite trick to re-tell uh, a myth. Yes. And there is also, uh, so Minotaur was one of them, and the other was Eurydica. And Orpheus. And yeah. Orpheus. Yes. Where Orpheus is going down to hell for Eurydica. And, uh, well, of course he found her, but at the very end he loses her. And it's, and it's written also very beautifully. I, was, I think he was even dedicated to, to, to Herbert's wife. Really? Oh. I remember, I think there, there is a poem by uh, Miłosz, where, again, with um, Eurydice and Orpheus, Orpheus and uh, he's looking for her in a hospital, and everything is white, and he's looking for her. And I think there is a poem by Miłosz. Might be, they both, after all, connected. Yes, and there and are so many poems about this motive, but it's very beautiful and very uh, universal. And t those two uh, also were fighting with each other, Miłosz and Herbert, in a way, also motivating each other, but a huge battle between two of them. Uh, well, we still decide which one of them win. <laughs> I'm not sure which. To be honest, maybe both won. But one thing is that uh, Miłosz, of course, received the Nobel Prize, and Herbert, even though he was uh, n nominated right. many times, he never received it. But he definitely deserved it. Deserved it. Yes, yes. Um, I absolutely agree. Yes. So just to wrap up this episode, we can fully sh say that and support the idea that Herbert should have won and be honored with Nobel Prize because that's absolutely exquisite and uh, the beautiful and word cross poetry of his and that's why he should be appreciated and I hope he will be also by you and thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.